A Dundalk man continues to recover tonight after being violently beaten by a group of teenagers. Now a 17-year-old is facing attempted murder charges. A 15-year-old is charged with assault and more arrests are expected. WJC is live at County Police Headquarters. Megan McCorkle with more on the brutal attack. Megan? Well, Vic, Richard Fletcher is out of the hospital, but he suffered extensive injuries. We have to warn you, some of the video and images you are about to see are very disturbing. <laughs> Horrifying cell phone video shows a group of teens surrounding 61-year-old Richard Fletcher kicking and hitting him again and again until he drops to the ground. This is what he looks like after the beating with broken eye sockets, a broken nose, broken ribs, and a brain bleed. He was brutally attacked. Investigators say Fletcher saw two girls fighting on top of his car. When he went outside to ask them to stop, dozens of teens turned on him. He wasn't trying to intervene in their disagreement. He just wanted them to stop fighting and move away from his car. Now, 17-year-old Antoine Lawson is charged as an adult with attempted murder. A 15-year-old girl also faces assault charges and more arrests are expected. Neighbors say the teens go to nearby Baltimore Community High School. The community in all, we're really disgusted with the actions of the students. Georgia Bartram with the Harbor View Neighborhood Association says the attack is causing fear amongst homeowners. I had one lady who said that she had found them in her vehicle and didn't realize they were in there. Her door was open and approached them and she said they could have done that to me. These flyers are now being put up across the community to try and raise money for Fletcher's medical expenses. He's got a lot of doctor's visits, so he's going to have a long road to recovery. <laughs> Now, neighbors want more people in this video to face charges. And police say they are actively looking for more suspects and they do expect more arrests. Live in Towson, Megan McCorkle, WJZ Eyewitness News. Me Megan, thank you. And multiple fundraisers are now being plain planned for Fletcher. And more than $7,000 has been raised through a GoFundMe page. Breaking news tonight, a Dundalk man is fighting for his life after being beaten by a large group of young people right outside of his home. And neighbors say they are angry, but they're not surprised. And they say tension has been building in that neighborhood for some time. ABC 2 News' Christian Schaefer joins us right now. What's that mean? Jimmy Kelly, the victim in this case is in critical condition tonight. This is a serious beating that he took. He's at Bayview Hospital. This happened along 45th Street, which is in Baltimore County, but just barely. It's right over the city line, just east of the city line. And the young people are from this school, the Baltimore Community High School, which is in the old Southeast Middle School building. Now, they get off their buses from various parts of the city up here on Eastern Avenue and then walk down 45th Street to get to their school. As the people in the neighborhood hope the victim of yesterday's beating can recover cover. They say this is not the first time they've had problems with groups of students from that school. This man asked not to be identified because he wants nothing to do with the students who walk up and down 45th Street every day going to and from Baltimore Community High School. When the kids are coming down the street to go to school and when they get out, everybody goes in and kind of hides and feels like we're held hostage. Hostages, he says, because of what they see in their neighborhood. Throwing bricks through windows and, and, and starting trouble, busting up cars in the neighborhood. Um, all kinds of different activities. Then on Wednesday, police say two girls were fighting, surrounded by a large group of young people. A man who lives on 45th Street saw that it was happening near his truck. He got involved because they were fighting on his car, so he went outside to ask them to move and they turned on him and began assaulting him. Neighbors call it a brutal beating. He was trying to help a female who was being beat and they attacked him and all they did was stomp on his head. Judy Roscoe has known the victim for several years. Rescue crews took him to Bayview Hospital where he is in intensive care. He's a very nice gentleman and for this to happen, it's, it's, it's uncalled for. It's unbelievable. Baltimore Community High is part of the city public school system, describing itself on its website as a second chance school with students ages 14 through 21. Roscoe says not all of them are taking advantage of their second chance. They throw trash. They are disruptive. They, um, they're loud, rude, and disrespectful. We have this problem on a daily on school days. She and other neighbors aren't sure what changes can be made, but they are hoping at least more county and city police can patrol the area. I just don't understand how, what we can do, but something's got to be done.
Now, police, we need to be clear, have not confirmed that students from the school are suspected in this case, but several different neighbors say they saw them during and after the beating. There have been no arrests. Again, the victim is in critical condition with bleeding on the brain, several broken bones in his face. The neighbors are planning to hold a meeting with school officials Tuesday night to talk about what can be done. Christian Schaefer, ABC2 News. Oh.